An intramuscular injection is the introduction of medication directly into any available muscle tissue. More and more medications are administered by this method since it is relatively painless for the patient. The procedure for intramuscular injection is simple and easy to learn and to perform. As with all injection procedures, surgical aseptic technique must be used. Start with sterile equipment and keep it sterile. Six principles must be maintained whenever giving an intramuscular injection. These are clean the site with 70% alcohol using a circular outward motion. Today, we are using the commercially prepared prep packs. The second principle, firm the tissue by squeezing between the thumb and fingers. Injection is safer, easier, and less painful if the skin is firm. Next, inject the needle with a quick thrust at a 90 degree angle to the skin. Fourth, aspirate by pulling on the plunger. This is done to make sure the needle point is not in a blood vessel. If blood appears in the syringe, do not give the medication. Withdraw and apply direct pressure with the alcohol sponge and start the entire procedure again with another sterile setup. The fifth principle, inject the medication. And finally, withdraw the needle and syringe and massage the site. There are three sites most commonly used. These are the deltoid, the gluteal or buttocks, and the thigh or vastus lateralis. Let us first discuss the deltoid region. The deltoid region is bordered on the top by the lower edge of the acromion process and on the bottom by a line drawn from the folds of the axilla. Side limits are the middle third of the deltoid region. We'll now show you the area on a patient. The deltoid region is bordered on the top by the lower edge of the acromion process. On the bottom, by a line drawn from the folds of the axilla. Side limits are the middle third of the deltoid region. Another site commonly used, the gluteal region or buttocks. The buttocks is divided into quadrants by one line starting at the sacrum and going outward. A second line bisecting the first is made for each buttock. The site for injection is the center of the upper outer quadrant. When given in the upper outer quadrant, the injection will miss the sciatic nerve and the major blood vessels. Again, it is demonstrated on a patient. Draw a line from the sacrum outward and bisect this line, dividing the buttocks into quadrants. The site of injection is the center of the upper outer quadrant. The third most common site is the lateral thigh or the vastus lateralis muscle. Its boundaries are a hand's breadth below the groin and a hand's breadth above the knee. The side boundaries are from the mid anterior thigh to the mid lateral thigh. Now we'll see what it looks like on a patient. Once again, a hand's breadth below the groin and a hand's breadth above the knee. The side boundaries are from the mid anterior thigh to the mid lateral thigh. Now that you know the most common sites, watch closely while the intramuscular injection is administered several times using different types of syringes and needles and the three sites we've discussed. First, using a reusable needle and syringe in the deltoid region. Remember the principles. Clean the site. Firm the tissues. Inject at a 90 degree angle. Aspirate. Inject the medication. Withdraw the needle and syringe. And massage. Now using a disposable needle and syringe in the gluteal area. Clean the site.
firm the tissue, inject at a 90 degree angle, aspirate, inject the medication, withdraw the needle and syringe, and massage. For the final injection, we will use a Tubex syringe and cartridge needle unit and give it in the vastus lateralis. Remember the principles. 